another primary assembly. It's great to see you again, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, staff, for finding the link and joining in with our assembly videos. Now, my name's John, and together with Andy and Sue and Linz, we're putting together these videos for you. And at the moment, we're in the New Testament of the Bible when Jesus' friends, the disciples, were going about telling God's good news and starting churches. They were planting churches, not with trowels and spades, because that's not how you plant a church. A church is the people that follow God. And lots of them were joining together to form new churches. Now Paul and his friends travelled by boat, a bit like this one, but hopefully a bit better than this one, and they walked everywhere. But wherever they went, they faced challenges. Some things went well, and people would follow them and join them. Others caused trouble, and they had lots of problems. What an adventure they were on. And we're going to follow Paul today on his adventures as he travelled around. And he went to places like Jerusalem to pass on God's love and God's message to the people there. Well, he, Paul and lots of his friends faced challenges. But they didn't face the challenges that people sometimes face on our planet. Some people face tornadoes. Can you imagine that? Scary. They even drop houses on top of cars. That's how powerful they are. Now, Paul didn't face tornadoes. He didn't face forest fires. No. He didn't face those sort of disasters that happen on our planet. And last year in Australia, there were lots of really bad forest fires. But he was shipwrecked on board a boat. He was shipwrecked more than once. And he survived. But then he was put in prison. He had a bit of a tough time. And did he complain in prison? No. Did it stop him passing on God's message of love? No. Wherever he went, he kept telling people that God loves them. And they need to love God and love one another and care for the planet and care for each other. And that was Paul's message. And lots of people believed and joined the church because they knew they could see that God's message of love was right for everybody and was good for the whole world. So let's follow. Let's follow Paul on his journey today when he travels by boat. And he walks about and he faces challenges. And I'll talk to you at the end to see what happened. Enjoy the story now. Paul's missionary journey. Paul travelled across the land. Planting churches as he went. Was Paul worried? No, I'm not. Paul journeyed to Jerusalem. He met the religious leaders. They did not like it when Paul said that Jesus was the special one that God had promised. So they arrested him and sent him in chains to Rome. Was Paul worried? No, I'm not! They put him on a ship. It was a perilous journey with considerable chundering. Was Paul worried? No, I'm not. They were shipwrecked in a storm on a small island. Was Paul worried? No, I'm not. Indeed, the locals shared their food. After 
three months, Paul set off again for Rome. In Rome, Paul stayed in his house until the trial. Was Paul worried? No, I'm not. While he waited, he told everyone about Jesus. Was Paul worried? No, I'm not. Instead, he wrote some awesome letters to the churches that he had started. All over the world. And we still have them. What a story, Paul! Shipwrecked! Thrown into prison, and worse, lots of really bad things happened to him. And we think we got it rough. Well, Paul really had things tough, didn't he? He'd had every reason. He could have easily sung that song, I'm having a bad day. How's it go? Something like that. You see, he'd every reason to complain, or moan and whinge and get cross. It's not fair. You know those sort of phrases that we sometimes all say or think. Hmm, I wish things were easier. It's just not fair. Why has it always happened to me? You know those sort of phrases. Boys and girls, we all say them. Even the adults do too. We think them anyway, even if we don't say them. But Paul did not do that. He could only cope because he knew that God loved him so, so much. And the more we realise, boys and girls and staff, that God loves us and he is with us, the more we can cope with difficult things. I wonder what sort of difficult things will you face or do you face? You see, you're probably not going to get shipwrecked. No, it doesn't happen very often, thankfully. You're probably not going to be thrown into prison. Let's hope not anyway. But what sort of things might you face? You might face, well, you might face, what about this? You might face a puncture in your family car. Oh, that can be really frustrating. You're on a holiday somewhere, you get a puncture. Or you might get a flood in your local town. We don't perhaps happen, don't sort of happen around where we are in Cheshire, but they do happen in some parts of England. And what about, you might need an ambulance because something's happened, an accident. Or you might just need a plaster on your finger. Or oh, what about when your ice cream falls onto the floor? Disaster. Not really, but really, it's a bit frustrating, isn't it? Everything that happens, everything that happens can really affect us and can make us feel happy, yay, or sad. Mm. The thing is, whatever happens, we need to keep remembering that perfect love, that's love of God, God's love, casts out, dries out all fear and worry. So Paul didn't worry because he loved God and God's love takes away our fear. So we can face the ice cream on the floor or the plaster on the finger or the burst tire on the family car or anything really, even though it's tough at times. And life is tough at times. And we know you are frustrated. Excuse me. We know at times it really is tough when the sound starts on my laptop and I didn't mean it to. What's happening there? Anyway, whatever happens, we can cope only when we remember. When we remember that God loves us and he's with us. Well, we can cope sometimes not knowing that. But when we really know that, Boy, is it easier? Yes. It's so much better to know that God loves us and he's with us. And he is the love that casts out, throws out all the fear. So we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry when things get tough. We can know that God is with us. Let me pray for you now to finish. 
Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you for reminding us that you are with us and that you love us. And even when things get a bit tough and when we feel like we're having a bad day or a bad moment or things are just a bit of a disaster, help us to remember that you love us and you're always with us. So we don't have to worry. We can trust you and we can thank you instead. Amen. Thank you for joining us. See you next week. Enjoy your week. Stay safe. Keep looking after one another. And I will see you next week. Bye.